Weather coverage you can count on with Chief Meteorologist Kate McKenna and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Well, it has been another gorgeous day, another perfect day to soak up some sunshine all across North Alabama. The Way 31 Thompson Roofing and Construction Skycam Network showing temperatures ranging from the lower 60s in Gunnersville to the upper 60s in Muscle Shoals and a good mix of clouds and sun for all locations. The clouds will continue to increase, unfortunately, in coverage overnight. And as far as the temperatures go, it'll still be seasonably chilly, if not a little bit above average. There's rain on the way as well. But look at the difference from this same time yesterday. The sunshine is making a little bit of a difference again. 10 degrees warmer than the same time yesterday in Huntsville. It's an 11 degree warm up in Fayetteville and Scottsboro. 12 degrees warmer than this time on Sunday in Fort Payne. The Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network shows that for the time being, if you're heading out the door, you don't need to worry about the umbrellas, but look up farther towards the west. This is the first round of showers that are going to be approaching as we go through tonight. You'll see the clouds kind of creeping closer to the shoals. And then that rain, as far as I'm concerned, it's going to take us a while for that humidity to increase enough for these showers to actually be able to reach the ground. But I do still have that mention of a shower in the forecast tonight. 43 degrees is your forecast, low clouds continuing to increase. And I told you it's a in slight chance for a shower, so 20% at most east-southeast wind. It is light at five miles per hour and tomorrow, even with that just mention of a shower overnight, you'll really see the rain chances increasing through the afternoon by three o'clock. It goes to a 50 50 chance by six o'clock in the evening goes up to a 60% chance. The temperatures will still be reaching the lower 60s tomorrow even with the cloud cover and then the rain is going to be something that's really a fixture with us tomorrow night it just starts to increase in coverage through your evening drive. So watch what happens here the rest of this afternoon. We'll take you to 9 o'clock. Here are the clouds that I was telling you about. And here's that mention of a shower. This is why I can't keep us completely dry tonight. Better chances for rain closer to the Mississippi, Alabama state line. By 2 o'clock tomorrow morning, I'm stopping it at 2 o'clock to show you that shower chance because as you go closer to sunrise, 7 o'clock, that shower chance starts to fade temporarily. Then we're back to a mostly cloudy sky and only cloudy. By the time we get closer to lunchtime, Rain starts to come into view here, and I told you it's really an afternoon, evening, tomorrow night kind of deal with this rain. 5 o'clock tomorrow evening, better chances for rain farther to the southwest. All of us will have rain spreading in from the south by 7, 8 o'clock tomorrow night. And you'll see the higher rainfall totals when I show you this map in just a second will be mainly south of the river, and that's because that's where the heavier rain is going to be. There's 10 o'clock tomorrow night. One band continuing to track farther towards the northwest. The center of low pressure kind of rotating around, so you're seeing those bands do exactly that. 1 o'clock Wednesday morning, now all the way to 6 o'clock Wednesday morning, that band of rain will have shifted farther towards the north. Lingering showers are possible even through lunchtime on Wednesday, but it's not going to be nearly as wet as what we are expecting through Tuesday night. In total, a quarter of an inch to half an inch for a large chunk of North Alabama and southern Middle Tennessee. But rainfall amounts closer to three quarters of an inch, upwards of an inch along our southern fringes are definitely a possibility. 70 forecast looks like this that mentioned for a few lingering showers Wednesday morning. Thursday, Friday, we get another break in the rain on Thursday, 73 degrees, and then another cold front comes and knocks us down to 62 next Saturday. We'll be right